Uh, hello friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my 2024 Easter clean and decorating marathon. I've combined some of my 2022 and 2023 Easter cleaning and Easter decorating videos that I sure hope you'll enjoy today to give you some early Easter and spring decorating ideas. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and friends, enjoy the marathon. Hello friends, welcome back. If you're new today, I'm Robin. Today's video was so fun to film for you guys. I'm hoping today's video brings you tons of spring and Easter decor ideas for your coffee bar or just any area in your kitchen where you want to add some spring and Easter vibes to. I'll start by clearing out this area and cleaning it with my Mrs. Meyers all-purpose cleaner in the mint scent. Okay friends, I know you guys like it when I do kind of a little haul before I decorate something. So let me show you real fast. It's a beautiful Texas day today. I think it's about 65 outside. Drake is certainly enjoying the outside. So I've got the windows open guys and the doors open again. I think in my last video I had the doors open and the windows open. So we're enjoying this great Saturday afternoon. So before I decorate my Easter coffee bar, let me just show you a few things I have. I love going through all that I have already and seeing what I might use and just kind of set it all out and then picking up a few things to kind of spruce it up just a little bit better than I had it last year. So I'll link my Easter coffee bar um, that I filmed last year down below my description box. It's always fun to go back and see what I did last year and then to compare it to this year's. Okay, I'm all about having some snacks by my coffee bar. And guys, look at these sweet little rabbit cookies. I accidentally smushed one. They are so stinking cute. And then I just got some Easter Kit Kats that look really sweet. I thought they might go into this little jar with a rabbit on it. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby in the spring section. It was $7.99 with 40% off. And look at these guys. If you watched my kitchen refresh video a few weeks back, I'm trying to go with sage in my kitchen and dining room this year and I thought these were perfect. I already had the, the to-go cups and the Easter um, wreath you see back there. This is something new. I thought I could put my Splenda packets in that. Isn't it so sweet with a little bunny on it with that green sage also? Let's move over here. I had these little eggs from last year and I had this little turntable. I got this from the dollar spot section at Target. I did pick up this new tray from Target because I thought maybe I'd use a white tray in that area instead of my Pioneer Woman this year. So we shall see. It was $29.99. It was half off today. So I picked up that one to see if I might use that one instead of my Pioneer Woman. And y'all, you know I love a good floral. Look how gorgeous that little white rabbit is. If I don't use it in my coffee bar area, I'll for sure use it somewhere in the kitchen. So I went ahead and picked that up today. Let's see here. Those are, for, it was in the spring collection also, and it was $5.99 and it was 40% off that. So I could not pass her up. So pretty. Okay, then I picked up these cute little spatulas that says he is risen because we all know the true meaning of the season of Easter. So I thought that was extra special and it had that sage green in it. So I'm going to add those to my utensils. I already had those little rabbits got from the dollar store. I may or may not still use my Lazy Susan that I had there. We shall see. I love these little white carrots. I thought they went really great. If you had a really colorful area and you want to tone it down some. So I picked up those. You can also hang those. They have like a little hanger on there. So those were super, super cute. And those are in the spring collection, 40% off of $5.99. Okay, and of course I have to get a coffee mug. Look at this sweet little rabbit for my coffee section. And this is not Easter related, guys. When I see some good pieces that I think I would use in my home, I have to pick them up. And their signs were 50% off today. And I just love this simple home sign. It is just so, so cute. Let's see how much this was. This was $14.99 with half off. And then one more sign I picked up that's not Easter related that I really am going to use on my open shelving. Look at this. Oh, I just love this. I love that wood tone against that white. 
and ah, uh, so, so pretty. I think I'm gonna put this on my open shelving and just add a little color up there. I'll show you in another video when I add these pictures to my house, but I could not pass those up, guys. Okay, almost done. Um, what my TJ Maxx, look at this cute little candle. Love my peeps and um, have little chickens on them. And my peeps, guys, I'm referring to you. You, I, I have the best supporters on my channel that come back every week, no matter if I have a good video or a bad video. They come, they watch it all the way through, they hit the thumbs up button, and they comment, and I'm so thankful for y'all. So when I say love my peeps, I'm talking to y'all. Okay, guys, this is a sweet little... This is a sweet little garland that I love to hang something on the back, on the back wall of my coffee area. So I used this last year. It just has little carrots and little snowballs, I guess is what those are going to be. And they are, it's super, super cute. I went ahead and grabbed, I've had this for a while. I still got the tag on it, but it was $5 from the Target dollar spot. And I went ahead and grabbed that off my decor shelf in there to see if maybe I can use that. I love using wicker anytime I decorate. I already had these little carrots from last year and then I did pick up this sweet little I think when I've seen them on videos people are calling those colanders I, I just think it's adorable I think I'm gonna use that and put my k-cups in it and of course I brought out some of my kitchen towels these are my pioneer woman kitchen towels and one last thing to show you again just to remind us of Jesus Christ our personal Savior he is risen it's a cute little egg that I used this last year also Okay, enough talking. Let's start seeing how we can decorate this Easter coffee bar. Okay, we're gonna start out by putting up our garland and then I'll put down each tray to see which one I like better. I really wanted to go with the white tray because I think it would stand out more. However, I thought it blended in a little bit too much for that little lady to see Susan. So I did end up going with the Pioneer Woman tray. As you'll see throughout this video today, it takes me several times to get it just the way I wanted. And I purposely wanted to show you guys that. So for any of you out there that really love the tear tray look, but you're really scared to do one of your own, just find a couple of things that you really like and just keep putting it out there and rearranging it until you get it just the way you want it.
let me stop real fast and introduce myself to anybody that may be new today. Again, my name is Robin. I'm married to my husband, Derek. I'm a born and raised Texas girl. We are empty nesters. We have three grown children and four grandchildren. I started my channel two years ago in March, so we're on our two-year anniversary here, and it has been so, so much fun here on this YouTube journey. I have met the best girlfriends and have just gotten a sense of accomplishment by creating a wonderful, fun channel here. I've got some really great um, people that come back every week. We talk in the comment section, and we've actually really become friends. I have an Instagram account. If you do also, that's a great way for us to get to know each other. You can find me over at Instagram at Robin Lane Low. I'll leave that here on the screen. I would love for us to become friends over on that platform. Here on my channel, you'll pretty much find me giving you tips and tricks on how to keep your house tidy and clean and organized. In the meantime, I'd love to decorate my home so you'll find lots of decorating content here on my channel. So if that's something that you're interested in, I would love it if you would take a second before you leave today, hit that red subscribe button and join this YouTube community that we have here. And just when you thought that I was done with this top tray, I'm going to move something around again. I, sometimes I have to let things kind of sit there for a while and kind of figure out why I'm not locking it, what it's missing. And then I'm like, yes, it's missing some greenery on this top shelf. I've had some comments of people saying I use too much greenery. I've had some that says I've never used greenery before. Thank you for motivating me and showing me how to use some greenery in different places. But I like it. I like a little touch here to kind of complete an area. And me adding this little napkin holder here which is what that little greenery is I thought really completed this top shelf here let me know in the comment section are you liking it so far have you been yelling at me this whole time saying Robin move this don't move that I'm really bad about watching people decorate and I'm talking to the TV giving them my opinion so let me know in the comment section if you're the same way Friends, be sure to have your bell notification on because my next couple weeks are going to be a little bit um, different than I normally post. I usually post just every Sunday because I do work a full-time job. However, I've got a couple of collabs left here in the month of March with some really great friends. So you'll be seeing this video on Wednesday, March the 23rd. And then I will not have a video on the 27th, which is a Sunday, but I will have a really fun Spring Porch collaboration with my friend Rebecca on the 28th. And then that Wednesday, the 30th, I'll have another collaboration with my friend Angie. I've mentioned her several times and we'll be doing a Spring Home Tour. So be sure to have that bell notification button hit and make sure you click all so that as soon as I upload those videos on my on this weird schedule that I'm having, you'll be notified and you won't miss any single video.
I know I really enjoy Easter. We all enjoy watching our kids with their Easter baskets and hunting their Easter eggs. That is so, so much fun. I have the best childhood memories from Easter time. But let's also remember the purpose of Easter is to remember, is to remember Jesus that died on the cross for our sins. He was crucified. He was laid in a tomb to rest. And three days later, he did rise. I have Jesus in my heart. I believe he is risen. I pray you also, friends, have Jesus in your heart. Okay, friends, I am done with my Easter coffee bar and I am so, so happy with it. I hope I gave you lots of Easter ideas to add to your coffee bar area or just to your kitchen. I so appreciate you watching and spending some time with me today. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, guys. That helps out this video so, so much. And I'll see y'all next week. Bye. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Robin if you happen to be new. Today's video is all about preparing my home for Easter. I've got family coming over for Easter to eat and to hunt Easter eggs. So I have a ton of chores to do inside the house and outside in the backyard. I got up early this Saturday morning, I've made my to-do list, and I've hit the floor running. So if you're hosting Easter this year at your house, put this video up on your TV, your iPad or phone, whatever you normally watch your YouTube channels on, get your to-do list out, and let's prepare our homes for Easter together. Okay guys, before we get started, let me just show you some before shots of the house. This is an early Saturday morning. I've been trying to do chores all week to get ready for Easter. So I need to, ever, to get everything done this morning that I haven't got done during the week. I left out a couple of things I got from Target and I'll show you guys those. The kitchen's not too bad. I really don't have any more dishes. I went ahead and loaded the dishwasher so you'll hear the dishwasher going. Um, just a few things to pick up. Derek got me some of these LED daylight bulbs. So I'm changing out the bulbs in my house and man, they do make such a difference. I've been doing that this morning. I'm going to take off this runner here on the dining room table and put down just a regular tablecloth for Easter. This stuff needs to go out to my car. I've been doing some cleaning in the back. As y'all can see, Drake is definitely enjoying this early morning. Let's go in the den real fast. Um, I came home from work last night, Friday night, and folded all the clothes. Got that out of the way. However, now I've got to put them up. I'll fold them all day, but putting them up is always such a chore for me. Another thing I really Really like to do when I'm gonna have company is wash my throw blankets so we'll get those and put those in the washing machine but first I'm gonna get my bath mats put in the washing machine so let's go to the bathroom and get our bath mats if you've been around my channel for any length of time you know that normally during the week I don't fully make my bed but I do like to do it on the weekend so I did get up early this morning and get my bed made yay that's a good feeling so I'm gonna move into my bathroom here in the back and get the and get the bath mats real fast.
All right, now that we have our bath rugs washing, let's start in the living room by getting these folded clothes put away. Since Derek and I are in the empty nester season of our lives, I have a pretty simple laundry routine. I try to wash and dry one load of clothes every morning before we leave for work. Now notice I said wash and dry. I didn't mention folding and putting them away. There are weekdays that I may go two or three days and not take the time to fold and put up the clothes that I've washed and dried that morning. And that's when, like you see here today, I'll have laundry piled up on the couch. And when that happens, I really try to stop on Friday after work and at least get them folded. And depending on what we have planned on that Friday night, sometimes I'll take the time to actually fold everything and put it away, which definitely makes for a better Saturday morning for sure. Okay guys, for you that have not been with me for very long, let me show you real fast my, kind of my system in my bathroom. I use all white towels, I use all white wash rags, and all white hand towels in my bathroom. Now when I was raising my kids, I just had a hodgepodge of everything. So I just went all white, oh gosh, probably maybe 15 years ago, and just started using all white in my bathroom. I can bleach everything that way and keep everything nice, crisp, and white. So I did a bathroom remodel um, probably about six months ago and I'll put that down in the description box so you can kind of see how I organized this bathroom. Okay, now I'll take the time to vacuum the dog's bed. This is where Ziggy likes to sleep. And that beach towel that you saw as you walked into the living room is where Drake likes to sleep. We have tried dog beds for Drake before, but she just prefers that spot right there as you walk into the living room. So I keep a fresh beach towel there at all times and that just seems to make her happy. With two dogs in the house, I have to really stay on top of keeping their areas fresh and clean. And I really do extra when I know there's gonna be company coming over. Vacuuming in here is definitely a must pretty much every day. I've considered buying one of those robot vacuums that I could program and it could vacuum in here while I was gone or while I was at work, but I've been told that they don't do very well with carpet and dog fur. So let me know in the comment section if you have a robot vacuum and you have animals and it works for you. Maybe the brand that you have. And for my friends that really wanted me to use Mama Bird on my coffee table, I ended up putting her right here on the side table.
Okay, now that we have our bath rugs drying in the dryer, let's get the dining room picked up. I'll put these light bulbs up. I also opened up a package and it had styrofoam in it. And when I took that out, that styrofoam went everywhere. So you'll so so you'll see me here in a second vacuum up that styrofoam that's on top of the table, under the table, in the chair. It went everywhere. So we'll take the time to get that cleaned up. And since we'll be eating Easter dinner here, I'll just take everything off the table and get it good and wiped down. I'm just going to use a wet soapy rag to clean, actually clean the table. I won't be polishing the dining room table today. I'll just get it good and clean. And then I'm just going to put a simple um, gray and white striped tablecloth on here just so that it will cover the whole table. I usually have a Easter tablescape and have all my dishes sit out real pretty and all that and utensils sit out on the table. I usually just stack up the plates and the forks and knives and they just kind of grab their plates and forks and go through like a buffet line on the bar and we just eat kind of buffet style. We're a little bit too laid back and relaxed to have anything real formal around here but I do like watching everyone else's Easter tablescapes that they put down with the pretty little Easter plates and all the utensils and pretty glasses. I love the look of that. However, that normally does not happen in my house. Friends, can y'all see the dirt that's on the outside of the table there to the right? Before I wiped it down, I wanted to bring it to your attention. You can see how the runner was down the middle, and that table was so dirty. The camera is usually so forgiving, but look as I'm wiping that down how dirty that table is. I'll show you the rag here in a second, but it's really hard to see from so far away. But believe me, it was dirty. Here's just a quick shot to show you guys where I keep my table runners and my tablecloths for the different seasons here in this top drawer. I filmed a spring decorate with me, just a kitchen hutch style last week. If you missed that video, I'll link it below in my description box. But by the time you see this video, I think this is actually going to be Easter Sunday when you watch this video. But if you're still interested in how I decorated this hutch for Easter, like I said, I'll link that below in the description box. Now I'm just going to take a second, pull all the chairs away from the table, and vacuum underneath the table. I don't do that as often as I should. I vacuum around the rug on the outside, but don't take the time very often to vacuum under the table. I'm going to take a second and get that done. And don't freak out, guys. I promise in a second I will get that tablecloth fixed. It's lopsided right now, but I caught that, and I did fix it here in a few moments. So let's get these um, car let's get the floors vacuumed real quickly, and then we'll do some quick mopping. Okay, now I'm gonna put all the chairs back and then you'll see me just add back onto the table that really pretty white picture with my spring florals and I'll keep it very simple here on my Easter table. Okay, let me show you guys real fast what I got from Target so I can clean off the bar. So starting with this really gorgeous pillow. This, it's embroidered. Let me take it out of the package. 
I am already getting ready. <laughs> this is crazy, I know, but I'm already picking up some items for summer. And I really want to go with a coral this year. And when I saw this pillow, I just fell in love. Flowers on it, it's got this coral and yellow. On the back of it, it's just solid yellow. Isn't it just so pretty? Just gorgeous. So it was $20 at Target. Then also they've got, I've been wanting this space for some time now and they finally put it on sale and I got this really pretty textured vase. I'm hoping to put this on my dresser in my bedroom and I got some really pretty coral flowers to go in this, to go in the space. But I just want to show you the two little things that I got from Target. They're just so pretty. I also have a coral blanket coming in that's going to match those flowers and I'll show you that when it comes in. And now I'm thinking, come what may. Don't care about what others say. Now to wipe down my bar area with this multi-purpose cleaner from Grove Collaborative in the pear tree scent. And oh my, my friends, this fragrance is heavenly. In my opinion, it's the perfect kitchen scent. If you've never heard of Grove Collaborative, I'll leave a link in my description box to check out their company. For about a year, I had a monthly membership with them, but to be honest, I was just spending way too much money each month on kitchen items and cleaning products. Not that their items are expensive by any means, I just loved everything and wanted one of everything in every scent. So I don't have a monthly subscription with them at this time. I'm going to try to wait until the holidays, but if you've never tried their products, I would definitely check them out. Now to do one of my favorite things that brings me such joy and that is putting sweets inside of my cake stand. Here I've got the cutest little Easter cookies that I picked up from one of our local bakeries called Grando's here in our hometown and they always have seasonal cookies here that are just delicious. So the grandkids are really going to enjoy those little sparkly Easter eggs there on top. All right, so while you watch me vacuum the kitchen area before I mop, let me introduce myself to anyone that's possibly new to my channel. I'm Robin. I'm married to my husband, Derek. We have three grown children and four grandchildren. My YouTube channel was two years old this past March. I work a full-time job outside of the house, so I only post once a week, and that's normally on a Sunday. When I have some extra time, though, I do love sneaking in an extra video on Wednesday afternoon. I love sharing with my friends how I keep my home clean and tidy while working an 8 to 5 job and I especially love showing decorating ideas here on my channel. If this sounds like content that you'd be interested in, I'd love it if you would take a second before you leave today and hit that subscribe button. I also have an Instagram account. It's at Robin Lane Low, the same uh, name as my channel. I'll leave that here on the screen for you. But I would love for us to follow each other over on that platform. It really is a quick and easy way for us to really get to know each other. Okay, and now to finish off cleaning the dining room and the kitchen with my favorite cleanser, Ponsel. We'll get these floors good and mopped and shiny and smelling wonderful.
And now for a quick after shot of the front of the house now that it's good, clean, and tidy. The bathroom rugs are now dried, so let's get them put back down in both of the bathrooms, and then we'll move outside to the back deck. Our family will definitely be hanging out on the back deck after we eat our Easter lunch while watching the grandkids honey Easter eggs. So I need to get back there and get a few things done and get the deck in tip-top shape. His Okay, now we got some inside chores done. Let's move outside to the back deck and see what's going on back here. We have lots of chores to do today. It's a beautiful day here in Texas. The birds are chirping, the wind chimes are chiming. Really pretty day, Derek's already mowed the yard. I need to plant some plants, um, fill up the bird feeders. Gosh, y'all, whoever owns an above ground pool like we are, you know the struggle. It's turning green, all this pollen, so we're gonna work in the pool a little bit today. Well, I'm not, Derek is. And then I need to blow off the porch to get this pollen taken care of. And let's see, what else we need to do? I said fill up the bird feeders, plant some plants. I need to put my new cushions out. And I think that's it. So let's get going, guys. Veiling golden, golden, gold. Okay, now that I have my comfy clothes on, my hair's pulled up, I've got my work gloves on, let's get to potting some plants. And the first thing I'm going to do is pot some Gerber daisies. It's, that's just one of my favorite flowers. And I'm going to really spruce up the back deck by adding lots of color with lots of plants today. I'm very blessed and one of my very best friends, who's also my neighbor, who also owns a trade days at our hometown, always has the best plants for springtime. I've talked about Charlotte and David before here on my channel so I went up to Charlotte's and grabbed a bunch of plants and today I'm just going to show you me potting some of them and putting them out to really make this deck really pretty for Easter so all I'm going to do here in this little pot is just put some soil on the bottom and then I'll take the plant itself and kind of you want to kind of um, let's see how am I going to say it you want to kind of separate the roots really good at the bottom before you plant them that way the roots are easier to start sprouting and getting bigger so I hope that makes sense so I'm just going to pot up this plant really fast and then we'll move on to another one Okay, so now let's move down to one of my bigger pots. And in this pot is a, ger a red geranium that actually survived the winter. So proud of it. But I love, like I create vignettes inside the house. I love creating vignettes in my flower pots. I love getting a big pot and putting all different types of flowers in it. I think that is just the prettiest. So when you're doing a big pot, you're supposed to have like a thriller, something kind of tall in the middle, a filler of little plants, and then a spiller, something that's going to spill over. So I've just kind of got a little hodgepodge of plants that I'm going to put in this really big ceramic pot that I've had now for several years.
Okay, now I'm going to take a second and get my flag untangled really quickly. And then we'll go over and get both of my bird feeders down and get those filled up with bird feed and get those back out. I would love it if you would take a second and let me know in the comment section if this content is something that you're actually interested in. I spent a lot of time in spring and summer outside of my yard and I filmed this today and put it up hoping that this was content that you would enjoy. And I've got some flower beds to clean out also that I could also film for you guys. So let me know if you would, if you're a regular watcher here on my channel, if um, watching me outside of my house doing things is something that you're interested in or if you'd rather me just keep all my cleaning and decorating for inside the house. Okay, now that I have my plants potted, I've got the bird feeders put back out. Let's take a second and put up my new umbrella here on this table. This is probably where the kids are going to dye their Easter eggs, so I need to get this area taken care of. I had a really pretty black and white umbrella last year, and the wind got it, carried it through the yard, and tore it up. So I didn't really want a solid color this year, but this is all that I could find. I couldn't find one of those pretty black and white ones that I got last year, so this one will just have to do. And again, I struggle with the bird feeders, and I definitely struggle putting this up also. Okay, now that the deck is blown off, I'm going to take a second and put out my new cushions. And every pillow you see here today came from Walmart.com, except for that multicolored one that you'll see here in a second that I put by itself. That actually came from the Target Dollar Spot last year. I hope you guys either cleaned along with me and got a lot of chores done today, maybe got your home prepared for Easter, or you sit on your couch with your feet up and watched me clean my home to get some motivation to get up and start doing things in your house today. You're probably watching this video on Easter Sunday, and I do pray that you have a wonderful Easter with your friends and family. I appreciate you watching this video all the way to the end, and guys, I'll see y'all next week. Bye!
Hello friends and welcome back. I'm so so thankful that you're here today. Today's video I'll be adding some Easter touches to my kitchen. When the seasons change I like to decorate my kitchen into different sections. Just to kind of keep the videos a little smaller for you guys I'll start off by doing some cleaning for the season then decorating the tops of my counters then going over to my open shelving and then ending with my coffee bar area. I did a lot of my deep cleaning here in the kitchen a few weeks ago. If you missed that video, I'll link it below. However, today's video, we're just going to be concentrating on decorating the tops of the counters with some sweet Easter decor. So if you're in need of some Easter decorating inspiration, I've got you covered in today's video. If you happen to be new today, I'm Robin and welcome to my channel. Like I said, I did a lot of deep cleaning a few weeks back, but my countertops can always use a good wiping off. And I do try to keep my countertop pretty tidied up and wiped down because when you walk in my front door, the first thing you do is see my kitchen. I just want to address that and give fair warning to all my friends out there that are just here for the decorating. There are a few surfaces I need to wipe down in today's video, but I do not do a lot of cleaning. Today's video is definitely all about decorating. Okay, now that I have this area kind of wiped down and dried off, let's start over here in this area by the refrigerator. This basket is pretty much a staple in the kitchen. I love creating a little vignette here over in this corner. Uh, this basket came from Target from the Hearth and Hand Collection last, or I think about two years ago. I love having a lamp here, and I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to use my floral lamp that I got from Hobby Lobby or this muted yellow lamp that I got from the Dollar General. And I went ahead and just went with this floral lamp. I've used this before, and I think it adds a great touch of color here in the corner. I so love using lamps throughout my home, but especially in the kitchen. I believe this extra lighting really creates some cozy ambiance. There's nothing better than at night time after you've cleaned your kitchen, it's spick and span. You turn all the overhead lighting off, turn a lamp on. I just love the feeling that that creates. So if a kitchen lamp is something that you haven't used yet and you're decorating decor in your kitchen, go ahead and try one. I pick up a lot of them from the Dollar General. Not only do they create some coziness, but they also can give your kitchen a lot of character. And not only do I love incorporating great lamps in my kitchen, but I love a sweet dish towel. And Target usually never lets me down, and I found these in the Target kitchen section. Um, I don't really like the word mom on there, but I do love that floral print. Um, and I do love this other dish towel that had this muted sage color that's going to go perfectly here in the kitchen. So I picked up a couple of those. I may go back and get one or two more since I've also got to decorate my coffee bar area and my open shelving. But these sweet little rabbits, these are new. These came from the dollar section or the bullseye section, however you want to call that, at Target. And they were $5 a piece. But I love incorporating little white rabbits into the kitchen. They just really add a sweet touch here. Okay, then I thought I was going to maybe add a little height here in this little corner to kind of cover up that little cord but I didn't really care for that very very much so I just took the tray away and just added this cute little floral Easter decor that I got at TJ Maxx last year so there you go just a very sweet and simple Easter vignette here over in the corner Okay, and another area where I love to sneak in a little hand towel is on this little hook here by the kitchen window. I leave those little cutting boards there to kind of get that area a little layered look and a little wood element. So just I added a cute little lavender wreath, very simple there. And then I'll just complete this little kitchen window with a sweet little bird because I love birds for springtime. Thank you. 
If you've noticed, I've got the window open here. It was so, so nice this Texas morning. It was about 65 degrees, and I'm just one of those people that every chance I get, I opened all, I open all the windows in the house when it's a nice, cool morning, and it was definitely a nice, cool morning today, so I was truly enjoying the weather. Okay, now that we've got the kitchen window decorated, the little basket over by the refrigerator, let's move over to the left of the um, oven and decorate these two little areas. Again, this is another staple um, in my kitchen, this little cutting board. I love to keep my salt and pepper here and my oil. And this little canister that I'm using is part of a canister set from the Pioneer Woman Collection at Walmart. It's about four years old. I absolutely love it. I'll use the other two canisters that go with this one over in my coffee bar area in a few weeks when I decorate there. But I think they're just beautiful. So I'll put my utensils here. I'll add this cute little rabbit. I love having this little area kind of be functional and add a little character for the season little heat is risen spoon is one of my favorites it came from hobby lobby and guys while each stir is approaching let's remember the true meaning of easter the resurrection of jesus christ our savior easter marks the resurrection of jesus three days after his death by crucifixion jesus conquered death and redeemed us from sin and this symbolizes God's love for us. We have to celebrate this day to thank God for sending his only son to save all mankind. The true essence of Easter is love and there is no other holiday that can adequately compare to Easter. Okay, so you'll see that I tried to add in that little white Easter bunny, but he just wasn't big enough to complete this area. So I ended so I ended up adding this sweet little wooden rabbit. I believe this came from Hobby Lobby. I cannot remember. It's a couple years old, but I think Mr. Rabbit here does complete this little vignette here on this cutting board. Okay, now let's move over to this corner and work on this little vignette. I'm going to leave my plant there in that sweet little white measuring cup that I found in an antique store. I've just got some wooden spoons from Hobby Lobby inside that little cup. I love that look of white on wood. And then I thought I was going to add um, these little set of rabbits here, but I kind of liked the one with the floral pattern on it a little better. I add a little bit more color here over in this corner. But again, just keeping it very simple by using another one of those cup towels and this sweet little rabbit. Okay, now I'm going to take just a second and clean off the front of this oven. It's pretty dirty. And then we'll change out the hand towel that I have hanging here on my oven. Pretty much everyone knows in the family that we do not use the cup towel that's hanging on the oven. <laughs> How many of you guys have taught your family that? That is for decorative use only. And I usually have a cup towel hanging over the sink that I can actually use. So it's just Derek and I were empty nesters, but that's what I really like to do. I love to have a really pretty towel here hanging on the oven door at all times for the season. And this little towel is absolutely adorable. I got it last year from TJ Maxx and I haven't been to TJ Maxx this year to look at their Easter stuff. But guys, if they have it, I'm going to pick up another one because I absolutely adore it. I love the little muted colors on there. Not too bright, um, but goes really well here in the kitchen so here's just a final look of the areas I have already decorated I'm very happy with it very simple but definitely some touches of Easter So another area I'm going to change out is on top of my refrigerator. I'm going to move this plant. It's not very happy anyway up here. It's been rather dry. So I'm going to try to find another place for this plant to live so it'll thrive a little bit better. But uh, tell me you, um, how many of you decorate the top of your refrigerator? I know a lot of people that don't have enough cabinet space. They put like their cereal or different food items on top of the refrigerator. But I've always decorated my refrigerator ever since I moved out on my own and have my own home and um here i love using this sweet little wicker basket i picked this up i think two years ago from hobby lobby i just love it if you follow amy fritz's channel she always has a little basket on top of her refrigerator and she just changes out the florals for the season 
These little Cosmo stems came from Hobby Lobby. I have them, as you see, in two different colors, and I absolutely love them. So I think this adds a little fresh look here on top of the refrigerator and blends in really well with all my Easter decor. Here's just a quick shot of my coffee bar area. I'll be decorating that hopefully next weekend. If you're new to my channel, I work a full-time job uh, during the week, so I normally can only film on the weekend. So I try to do like film two videos per weekend, but sometimes I don't get it all done. But I will have that video coming up soon. So be sure you've got that bell notification button hit so that you will be notified from YouTube the moment I upload any or the rest of my spring videos. And um, here I'm just gonna take a second and write a sweet little message on my chalkboard um, I love having a Bible verse or something written on here and um, I use that chalkboard to cover up that ugly <laughs> phone jack that if you just saw that on the wall you'll see it here in a minute but um, that is such an eyesore so this chalkboard covers it up perfectly so I'm just gonna write on here springtime with some little flowers I wish I was more creative my friend Anna with home with Anna we're gonna do a collab pretty soon coming up so be looking for that collaboration but she is so talented and she also does a, a chalkboard in her kitchen but oh my goodness hers are just absolutely beautiful so go over to home with Anna and check out her channel let her know Robin sent you so let's just finish up this little chalkboard and hang it back up and then we'll continue on with our Easter decorating If you have live plants in your home like I do, changing out their pots is a great way to add some color for different seasons. This Pioneer Woman pot is about four or five years old. I just love it. But look at the transition from my winter to my spring. It adds such a sweet uh, color here to this little area. I usually have a candle here, but I haven't really bought any spring candles yet. So I'm just going to add in these sweet little rabbits. I love having some type of little seasonal pillow here at the end of the bar and this little bunny rabbit pillow is just adorable and then I'm going to change out my wreath here in the hallway so just showing you guys a couple of areas that you can change out in your home just to add some seasonal touches without going all the way you could add a little pillow at the bar or a little wreath in your hallway so look around your home and see um, you might not be able to afford a lot of Easter stuff but you could probably find a couple of areas in your home to add a pillow or a wreath to kind of show the signs of the seasons changing. Let's move back over to the kitchen window. I had a subscriber um, ask about putting a curtain back in my kitchen window. I used to always have one here. And then I got that shade for more privacy in the kitchen window. But I thought, okay, let me bring back my Pioneer Woman Valance and see how that's going to look. So here's a shot with the shade, the Valance with the shade. And then I'll show you a shot with just the Valance. So let me know in the comment section which one you like better. I really like the privacy of the blind and the curtain. However, um, I wasn't real sure which way to go so I left the shade up there and just put the valance on top of it but I would love to know your comments in the comment section and y'all look at Remy uh, Ziggy came in and slept this is Remy he's our neighbor's dog and he is waiting for Ziggy to wake up so he just hangs out in the back porch isn't he so cute okay so I'm gonna take a second and I'm gonna sweep just this kitchen area and um, 
I like to sweep sometime just so you guys can see the actual dirt on my floor when I use my vacuum cleaner sometimes I know you're thinking Robin your floors are not dirty but I can assure you the camera is very forgiving and my floors are pretty much dirty 24 7 so I'm gonna take the time do some sweeping and then we'll do a little bit of mopping and then we'll continue putting up some Easter decor in the kitchen I normally use my spin mop when I'm mopping my kitchen floors or mopping the house but since I'm just gonna do this one little area today in this video I'm gonna use my Norex mop and the squirt and mop that I get from Grove Collaborative it's in the sage mint smell that absolutely smells wonderful and guys I know if you own a Norwax I uh, can't say that very well if you own a Norwax <laughs> mop yourself and um, you already know that it sanitizes and cleans with just hot water however if I'm gonna take the time to mop my floors I want my floors to smell or I want my home to smell good and so that you can actually tell that I've actually mopped the floor so I like using some type of smell good cleaner when I mop the floors and I just love that shine when I'm mopping I wish it would stay that way sometimes I'll go back with some Murphy's oil soap and that helps my wood floors to be kind of shiny longer however today I'm not going to do those extra steps I'm just going to simply get the floors mopped and so that we can move on If you happen to be new today, I'm Robin. My husband and I are empty nesters. I'm a born and raised Texas girl. I've had my channel for a little over three years now and I really thoroughly enjoy it. I work a full-time job, like I said earlier, so I only post normally on Sundays. I've been trying recently to post on Wednesdays and Sundays and you guys have seemed to really enjoy that. So if you're new, I would love it if you take a second and introduce yourself down in the comment section. And also, if you have an Instagram account, I would love for us to follow each other over on that platform it's a really easy way for us to get to know each other you can find me over there at robin lane low the same as my youtube channel so let me show you some after shots of these pretty shiny floors If you've been around my channel for some time now, you know that I not only love having a new seasonal towel hanging on the front of my stove, but I also love a kitchen rugs and these pioneer woman rugs have been around my kitchen for three years now can you believe that that's just crazy they wash up so well and i thought i would get some new ones this year for spring but however i just couldn't find anything that i liked better than these so i'm just going to use these again they're absolutely adorable and i believe if you're looking for something easy and inexpensive to kind of show the changing of the season from winter to spring this is a perfect way to show that by just putting down a simple kitchen rug All right, guys, this is all I have for you in today's video. I so, so appreciate your support. We hit 7,000 subscribers last week, and I am just overwhelmed with you guys. You are just simply the best. If you're new, please say hi in the comment section. And guys, I'll see you next week. Bye.